Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS Quark V17 2023 model. The exact model for this one is a G713PI-DS94 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage on here or you, if you don't want to upgrade you just want to add extra storage in there you can simply do this. Uh, I've seen people calling this tech support and they always tell you know you can go max two terabyte or one terabyte you can add additional that's not true every time we call them we get some bogus answer in this video i'm going to go open it up and show you the how you upgrade and what are the capacities that you can have in here first thing first just remember when you upgrade your main storage you have your windows and your files in there you might want to back up your files your data on external storage and whenever you upgrade the main storage, you might want to install Windows freshly installed. I made a video how to create Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. You can check that video in the video link. Uh, I'll leave the link in the video description. And I made another video how to install them on an ASUS laptop. After installation, you can go to the ASUS website, download all the drivers, and you'll be set ready to go under 20 minutes. All right, but in this video, I'm just gonna demonstrate how to get to those storage and how you can upgrade them. First thing first, back up and, uh, your files and turn off the laptop. Put a workshop towel underneath so you don't scratch it or microfiber towel. And now on the bottom of the laptop, I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using and you can get the same tools. I'll leave the link again in my video description. The tools I really recommend you guys is the iPixi screwdriver set. There's a pro set and a regular set. This is just a regular, just a screwdriver. These are made out of S2 class steel bit. They're really tough and you're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they do include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab yourself some wooden rod or plastic rod. And for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right. Now, I'm gonna go over the size of the screws and uh, the location. If you're facing the laptop, the front end towards yourself, flip down, flip upside down, the front is facing you. You do not wanna remove the left screw. You leave this one for the last. And the rest, we're gonna remove. The front end of the laptop, they are made of the short screws. So there's a three short screw on the front from the mid towards the left side. The right side, leave it on, do not touch the right side. And the longest screws are the two in mid back and one center. These are the only three longest screws. And the medium screws are the corner backs and the sides. So go ahead and remove all the screws and leave them in a separate piles each. And that way you don't mix match them. Also, if you guys like my content, if my contents are helping you through your upgrades and servicing, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment areas. There we go. Now that we remove all the screws, except the one on the right side on the front, I'm gonna go over why we left it for the last, because this screw on the front, on this side, has a little C-lock on the other end. And the C-lock is going to help us to push the bottom cover away from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this one, you're going to see a separation between these two plastic cover here. So let's go ahead and rotate this one. And you can see, we're going to stop as soon as it makes that, that click sound. All right, now that makes it easy for us to stick the guitar pick in between the bottom cover and palm rest. And you want to just wiggle it around in there work yourself through and then you're gonna see these clips are getting loose so you want to loosen up all the way you want to hear those click sounds if it makes a big sound or soft sound that's okay that's what you want to hear so you want to work yourself all around in the front once you did the front you want to do the side too do the side by the usb port by the grill on the back right there and then you want to stick it right in here there you go. Once you did the left and right side, so I'm gonna do this side too. This side there's no USB port or anything. It's gonna faster, I guess. There we go. 
Once we did the front end, the side, you don't need to do the back end, but if you want to go do on the back end, you could it just right away here. But it's not necessary to the back side. It usually comes up very easy. You want to put it down again. And you want to grab the front side and wiggle it around slowly and lift up. But do not lift up more than two or three centimeters because it's a cable. So you want to bring the back end towards yourself like a pamphlet. And then you're going to see this into flex cable right in here. You can leave the flex cable, that's fine. You don't, you don't need to remove it. Just leave it the way it is. And there's a battery here. There's nothing else down here. The storage, they give you two storage, two M.2 PCI4 storage right in here. These are NVMe. So you have your uh, Samsung one here, one terabyte, and you have your secondary, and they do give you a, a screw for it. I recommend you guys to grab the, the best one for this model, which is Samsung 980 Pro. These are really, really durable, and they will last you much longer than any other brand. Okay. And right now, I'm going to go over how to remove it. You do not need to remove the battery to do this service. Absolutely not necessary. You don't need to, to disconnect it. All you need to do is to remove one screw at the end of the storage right there, tiny one. And this storage can be pulled back in 10 or 15 degrees. There's a pad right there. You don't need the pad for the second one. They just put it here, but honestly, you don't need it. And there are, this is your storage. This is like a cheaply made storage, Gen 4. But let's say you got the second one in, you want to upgrade this one. Again, make sure the notch on this one matches the notch right there. You want to bring it down in 15 degree, right inside the jack and push it towards the motherboard and put the screw. Same thing goes in here. Bring it one, additional one, take it all, all the way there, bring it down, make sure you remove this screw and put the screw over. Okay, and that's how you can add an additional. You can add a four terabyte in here and four terabyte on the second one to have a total of eight terabytes with no problem. But honestly, I would say go with two terabyte and two terabyte. That's you know a sweet spot, but I don't know why somebody wants eight terabyte on a laptop, but you could go eight terabyte on here with no problem. All right, now that you have upgraded, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover over, bring it, Put it down, push down every corner. Down, make sure you hear those tiny, nice click sounds. If your table is flat, do this. If you open it up and you see any cover opening, just pinch them together. It's not focusing. Except the corner right where you have a C-lock. You don't want to push, it's pinch that one up. And if you see anything opening gaps, stuff like that, like this one over here under the grill, all you need to do is open up the screen and pinch this cover. And anything open, you just pinch it down and it will go to its place in the corner here. Pinch and done. And the last thing would be to just tighten up the screw on the corner here and place the rest of the screw. Remember the short ones in here, the long ones are mid, medium, sides. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screen.